Hello, Chef here with another video. So what do we have here? Well, some of you may know immediately what this is, while others may not. Very simple, this is pearl barley. They call it pearl because of the shape. Anyway, barley is considered a superfood, one of these grains that's very, very healthy, very, very good for you, so you should try barley. Uh, I'm making a simple recipe here today. Simple for me, but talking to a friend, uh, not so simple for everybody. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be beef barley vegetable soup. Uh, of course, if you followed some of my other videos, you already know that uh, I'm a big fan of uh, saving the uh, scraps when you're working with vegetables. When you peel this onion, and you got the peel, don't throw it away. Put it in a bag like this. Oh yeah, onion peels and garlic, all the good stuff. Same thing right here with the garlic. Some garlic's going in this recipe. I don't throw away all these peels. They end up in the bag right there, okay? That's the beginning of my uh, soup. I'm making a stock. Now, if you're not sure how to make stocks, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and search stock, especially chicken stock, beef stock, veal stock, uh, lamb stock. There's so many stocks and so many soups and so many sauces. You can learn. I could teach you for years all the stocks and soups and sauces. Maybe you'll become a saucier. Anyway, this is a simple video, so here we go. I'm going to be prepping all this stuff and uh, I'll show you my stock. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a simple vegetable stock right now. I'm going to be turning it into a beef stock a little later. But for now it's just vegetables. Uh, you want to know what's in here, I'm going to give you all the secrets. Some chef secrets for you, the viewer, okay? There's a bay leaf. There's five peppercorns. There's carrots, there's onions, there's celery, there's garlic. Get our prep work going here. So I like to start with my garlic. I normally give it a smash like this. It's just faster. Okay. And I'm going to uh, just chop up the garlic a little bit. Look at that. Okay, we're talking uh, five seconds. Carrots clean. Done. Save this scrap over here. Repeat. Ah, you want to know what's going on over here? Okay, the onions and garlic are browning very nicely. Carrots go in. Okay, for beef barley, I do like to have my mushrooms sliced, kind of medium thickness, just like this. Okay? Little practice, you're going to be going fast too. Watch my other videos if you want to know about speed and mushrooms. I got a mushroom test. Most of the students end up with. 10 fingers on the mushroom test. All right, we move those aside. Beef. I like to go with a, kind of a medium dice on the beef. And I'm going to leave the fat on for this soup. I'm not going to trim it anymore. This is what I'm looking for right here. Small, bite-sized pieces. Okay? Just like this. Nice and consistent. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How does that beef look? Leave a comment, please. This is USDA prime beef. It's going to be good. All right. Now, I need to go back, show you what's going on here. 
Notice the nice color I got going on. That's what you're looking for. Oh yeah. Now, the beef goes in. I'm putting it in all at once. Okay? Okay, my burner, by the way, is on medium heat. Next, once the meat's browned, we've got this awesome beef stock. Uh, it's on another burner right behind me here. And you can see the color and the clarity. I added two tablespoons of beef base. Beef base. If you don't have beef base in your area, get beef bouillon cubes. I would probably use four of those. I've got three quarts of stock here. So what I want to do is take a little tiny bit like this. Oh, it smells good. Oh, yeah. A little taste. And we got to adjust the seasoning. So the first thing I notice is it needs more salt. I'm using the uh, Hawaiian salt and I'm going to put a little more salt in there. Oh yeah, looking really, really good. Now, I'm going to take my strainer and put it right over the top here, like this. dump my stock right in. I'm doing this to avoid too many containers. It's convenience and it's the right way. Okay, there goes my stock. Yeah, looking good. Uh-huh. All right. That's a piece of a garlic right there. Uh-huh. All right, you want to smash it and get all the liquid out of the stock that you can. Remove these uh, vegetable scraps here. There we go. Now, what I want to do is reduce the heat and let this simmer probably for about 30 minutes. I'll be back. Okay, and now the beef is tender, the barley's tender, the soup has started to thicken by itself naturally. At this point I like to put in my mushrooms all at once, just like that. Stir them in, let it cook just a little bit longer. The soup is almost done. Surprise garnish? You guessed it. Alright, so for the garnish I like to uh, remove the top and just give it a little slice and a dice very quickly and I'm just going to toss it all in. A good beef barley has everything you need right in the soup. Don't need anything else fancy, just a really good soup. So here's the diced tomato. It goes in like that. Just finishing up the soup now. Oh yeah. Do one more uh, quick taste and adjust the seasonings. And I'll be right back to share it with you. Okay, the finished beef barley vegetable soup looking really good. I'm going to serve some up here in this very large bowl. Uh, two, four, six, eight ounces would be a nice portion. Oh yeah, look at that. It's looking really, really good. Maybe a little bit more broth in there. Okay, so the soup is all done. You can see what's going on there. Uh, it's got uh, all the essential vegetables and wonderful flavor. I'm going to garnish it with one more thing. Once again, Herbs de Provence, just a little bit. And uh, just to kick it up a little bit, I've got a little bit of a balsamic reduction that I've made. I'm going to put just a few drops around the plate like this. It's going to add a little more flavor. It's just cool looking and it's a slightly different color. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Yeah, check out the other videos. Support your sponsors. And most of all, get cooking.
Have a great day. Know that so I'm just gonna put a few drops wow that right there is gonna be good thanks for watching please like share subscribe score the chef's knife right there yeah keep cooking and have a great day Turbo! Yeah. Have a great day. Select Hard Rock Maple is the chef's choice. Choose from several sizes. With a juice groove, without a juice groove, reversible, charcuterie board, solid walnut, solid cherry, even walnut rustic grain, reversible, round, square, rectangle, free shipping, Oh, it's going to be good. Wow, the Jambus Cucina Elegante, handcrafted with the finest American hardwoods, food service grade stainless steel. The Elegante features inch and a half thick butcher block, available in several sizes and with several options. Call your sponsor and save money. Ask for a discount. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Boost blocks. Buy the best the first time. Save money. Share the video and how to cook a perfect turkey. Right there. Check out the sponsor's website. It's step by step. It's simple. Learn from the chefs. Wow. Get cooking and have a great day. Oh, it's going to be good. On a side note, some of my videos are touching on knife safety. So I suggest, especially for the kids, you get them cooking, get the chef's stainless steel glove. With this glove on, you have full protection. No cuts, no issues. I like it. It works. And uh, wow. It protects. That's what it's all about. Safety. Yeah. Made in America. Made in USA. Only at your sponsor right there. Yeah. Check it out. Get cooking. Here's a thicker one. This is end grain rock maple. The two treatments recommended are designed for working professional chef's kitchens. There's a reason. Mystery Oil is a food safe, ultra pure grade mineral oil. I really like it. Yeah, it's good stuff. And uh, that's where I get it right there. Uh huh. Uh, it's used in combination normally with the board cream. Board cream is a natural moisturizer which seals out the elements and it's primarily beeswax. I get it right there. Uh, beeswax, let's see. Unbleached beeswax and food grade mineral oil. So these are the two products that we use and we apply them monthly, generously. And uh, we're going to learn more about that in just a moment. 
So the mystery oil is applied in a circular motion. So you use an applicator or a plastic bag, work it in in a circular motion, do this monthly, and then let it dry overnight as preferred, and you can repeat. After it dries, you warm this in a bowl of water and apply just a few small dabs, and wow, it's going to be good. That is a safe cutting board. Every knife should be paired with a butcher block throughout the kitchen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Proper maintenance should be applied every month. finish loaves. I love butcher block. Yeah, this is end grain maple. You can see it's ready for some more oil. This is edge grain cherry. It's been oiled once and then it's been sealed at the factory. Uh, it's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, this one here, this is edge grain maple. So, different looks and different uh, sizes, different thicknesses. Edge grain has certain applications, end grain has certain applications. They're all on sale at your sponsor right there. In stock and quick shipping, you're going to love it. By the way, this is an authorized dealer with over 50 years of combined experience in butcher block. So, I suggest you uh, shop with the experts. Get the best the first time. That's my motto. Get the best the first time. Ready to apply mystery oil. Give it a shake. A little bit of uh, beeswax and uh, mineral oil. Some other good stuff in here. I like it. Uh, first application, just like this. Swirl motion. Yeah. Okay, once you got the swirl motion down, plastic bag. Why? Because it's recyclable and it's not flammable. Uh, I would not use uh, cloth. It'll absorb too much and it becomes flammable. Oh, look at that block. Really, really nice. You can see all the hard work has paid off just with the look and the color. Oh, yeah. If you need one of these blocks, contact your sponsor. If you need the butcher block treatment, Okay, I'm in the kitchen. I've got this fresh basil. It's looking really, really nice there. I've got a razor sharp knife. You're wondering just how sharp this is, right? Yeah. Always good to start with a very sharp knife. 